I think I owe you all an apology. I've been recording these videos, preaching that we need to give appropriate attention to these guys, and I'm guilty of the exact opposite. I got to looking at all my videos and upcoming videos and noticed something. They're all on bigs and forwards. After ragging on people for not showing respect, I've been neglecting the guards. So this is my first of many guard videos to come in an attempt to reconcile that situation. And what better way to kick that off than taking a look at Kansas Jayhawk scoring machine, Ochai Agbaji. Agbaji is a 6'6", 210-pound explosive shooting guard for Bill Self's Jayhawk squad. He's quick, agile, jumps out the gym. What more could you want in an off guard? Well, the ability to put the ball in the basket would help, and Agbaji can certainly do that. Agbaji led Kansas in scoring last season and looks primed for an even bigger breakout this year. One of the best parts about his game is his ability to score in transition. He's fantastic at running the floor, steamrolls his way through the lane, and finishes nicely at the rim. Notably, his ability to know when to go to the Euro step to avoid charges is particularly impressive. Despite transition being his bread and butter, Agbaji's willingness and ability to move and cut off ball and half court sets makes him extremely valuable when the game slows down as well. He's shown an ability to hit shots from deep and boasts some very smooth shooting mechanics from outside too. His shooting percentages aren't great, but this is mostly due to shot selection and forcing up a few attempts per game. If he can learn to curtail his attempts to high percentage shots, he could be a potentially deadly scorer at the next level, sort of in the mold of Malik Beasley. What makes him even more intriguing is that coupled with his scoring ability, Agbaji is one of the best on-ball defenders in the NCAA currently. His quickness allows him to stay in front of just about anybody on the perimeter, and his strength helps to bully guys back when they try to play hardball against him. His high motor on both ends will endear him to a lot of scouts as well. It seems like you never have to worry about this guy giving a full effort at any point of the game. He's in there to win, and he isn't going to let anything get in his way. So what's the holdup with this kid? If he's so great, why aren't people talking about it? Well, as mentioned before, consistency plays a big factor. His shooting percentages were already just average, but they fell off a cliff when the Jayhawks headed to conference play, and he could never seem to really get out of his slump. His athletic ability helped keep him relevant in those games, but it's going to be much harder for that to be his savior in the NBA. The biggest problem with the shooting percentages is the fact that Agbaji isn't a great ball handler. Right now, he projects to be a spot-up wing, and when his shot isn't falling and he's forced to slash, it leads to an uptick in turnovers because of that average handle. As a result, most of his scoring will have to depend on the ability of his teammates to find him in stride if his ball handling and subsequent shot creation doesn't improve. On the other side, while a force defensively, his high motor can lead to some over-aggressive play that results in way too many fouls for a primary defender. He will be one of the best defenders on his team, and they'll want to keep him on the floor. They can't afford to have him committing silly fouls. Even in the face of all this, Agbaji's upside is far too intriguing to overlook in this upcoming draft. I have no doubt some team will fall in love with his abilities and potential and snatch him up as soon as they can. He has much to learn, but he deserves a shot to prove that he can evolve at the next level.